Hello again. Hey, Fire Agate Mark here. I'm working on a longer video beginning to end of a larger piece of Aguascalientes Fire Agates from Mexico. This is some Deer Creek, um, and it's small, ready to go. I can't carve this while filming, uh, so we're just doing a quick little snippet. My beautiful fiance, Amber J, agreed to help me film just a little bit. And uh, I will be releasing the longer beginning to end video, so just stay tuned. Whoa. Everybody who's liked and subscribed, <laughs> continue to do so. Hey, let's stay here for a while. All right, uh, thank you very much. Let's get some carving. All right, so there's multiple layers I can see from the side. The next layer is right underneath that brown. I was able to get that clear chalcedony off. Um, for that, I was using this hog burr. Uh, this is fully diamond sintered. So I like diamond sintered for fragile material. You don't want to flake off something you don't want. Um, I'll try to do what I can close up. I'm going to let Amber J go because this is an uncomfortable position to be filming from. And I'm going to switch up some bits and see if we can get a little bit closer. Okie doke. Okie doke. I still have a lip to come over and I still have to round this out. Um, this is a medium grit, full centered bit. This is from Varankwar. Uh, you can get these through Syntec Inc. I'll put a link in there. Uh, they're amazing bits. They're a little bit more expensive, but the centered ones make it a lot easier to work with the fine color. Um, and let's see how this works. Give me one second. There we go. Nice and slow. I'm probably going four, between four and 6,000 RPM, and I'm going to use between one and three ounces of pressure at the most. I'm just getting these down to an even level. You can see that there's different layers. I want these layers to join up.
Let me fix this. All right. Try to follow the contours. <clears throat> At this point, I have two different vacuums working on the dust, the dust collection. So I'm taking a little break since I'm working with so much water so as not to be using the respirator. But if I was doing any more aggressive grinding, or for any length of time, you should absolutely be wearing the respirator. It's a, just a good habit to get into. bits. I'll be right back. Another <clears throat> another of a Rancor bit is this inverted cone. Let's see. Normally I cut under magnification. What I'm going to try to do here is have my phone be my magnification and hopefully I don't mess this up. So this is just a snippet of what I was able to do off camera. I was able to get these two fields to join. They're still kind of dark. I still have to sand down more. The whole thing took me about an hour, hour and a half up close. Just to get in there kind of detailed and make sure I didn't lose anything. So tomorrow, with a fresh set of eyes, I'll come in and keep working down. I'll keep you apprised and I'll keep working on the longer video. So we'll have that soon. Thank you again, and I hope you all have a wonderful night. Well, again, if you have any questions, just reach out, fireagatmark at gmail.com, and I'll put some links down below. Thanks again. Have a great night. Well, uh, unfortunately, I can't really get too much detail done without wearing my magnifiers, so I'm not going to risk the stone. I'll show you a finished picture of the stone and know that I do have a large one I'm doing beginning to end. Um, it's medium grade, so I'm not going to be quite as worried about it. Anyhow, thank you very much for liking and subscribing, watching. If you have any questions, reach out to us at fireagatmark at gmail.com. Uh, you can always check out ourminerals.net if you'd like to see some of our material or maybe if you're looking for something in particular, just let us know. 
We appreciate all of you. Thank you so much, and we hope you have a wonderful night. Okie doke. Since the last video, since last night, I put in about three and a half hours. Uh, I was going between Diaflex wheels, Diathin. I got everything cleaned up, brushed down. Uh, went a little bit deeper in a few areas, try to accentuate some of those those grooves, <clears throat> clean up some of the contours. Uh, if you go deeper, you remove the, the uh, positionality of the stone. You make it so that the color is more apparent from every angle. So I did that, and then I polished. Well, I washed everything clean. And then I used some 14,000 grit super polish. And I used that for about an hour to an hour and a half with the soft um, wool burr and a long soft bristle brush, I believe horsehair. And then I wiped it all down with a microfiber cloth and there we go. But essentially beginning to end. This one I didn't use as much detail because it's a high grade, of, uh, high grade Deer Creek piece and I didn't want to damage it. Um, the piece that I am working on is Aguascalientes mid-grade um, for the video. So that way I'm a little less worried about it. Alright, you have a wonderful night. Thank you very, very much.